Stanford University. What's kind of interesting about 3D printing, of course, is that 3D printing allows non-enterprises to make and sell goods. If you can become a maker of complex products on your kitchen counter or in your garage, that has the potential kind of to throw a wrench into our traditional justifications for strict liability law. You buy something from your neighbor down the street who manufactured something on her 3D printer. Uh, you are injured. You want to assert a product liability claim. Who can you bring the product liability claim against? So the first and most obvious person you would want to assert a claim against is the neighbor, the person who you bought the good from and who manufactured the good on her home 3D printer. But there's a serious impediment to that claim, and the serious impediment is traditionally product liability law can only be asserted against commercial sellers. So she would be, under the doctrine as it exists, not a commercial seller, but a casual or an occasional seller of a good. Another potential defendant, you might think, is the manufacturer of the printer itself, but there's another impediment. And here the impediment is the idea that the printer itself is defective. And not only is it defective now, but it was defective at, at the time it left its sellers possession and control. The third possible claim is, how about the person who made the code, right? So these printers you feed code into them um, and it's with that code that they are able to print their objects. But again there's another impediment and here the impediment is code is probably not a product. So under the third restatement you can only assert a, a product liability claim against the maker, seller, distributor of a product and product is defined as tangible personal property. And the question of code so far, whether code is a product, has not to this point been kind of widely or aggressively litigated. Let's say there is a printer in every home and we really buy far fewer goods. So then what happens? Part of the answer might be that courts in typical common law fashions might start kind of relaxing lines and blurring boundaries. Also, we might just kind of see a return to negligence, kind of old-fashioned negligence claims. And if that world happens, then we are really, you know, on the verge of a revolution in the make and sale and utilization of goods. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.